Hello and welcome back to the next episode of our Fallout New Vegas Let's Play series. Alice McLafferty in the last episode asked us to come over here to the Sunset Sarsaparilla bottling plant and find out who's uh, been making some caps. And to, if we can't find them, we got to destroy the machine. Now, I do think the robots respawn for this. At least I hope not. Unfortunately, the vending machines are still going to be empty. Sad days. Very, very sad days. But we can just probably make our way through here pretty easily. That's the back door. We don't want that. And I do notice that our sniper rifle is in dire straits. It is down to four bullets. So that is not good. Could have swore we had a lot more ammo. So I'm not sure where it all went to. I mean, I know I used a lot of ammo in Old World Blues, but yeah, why is that thing still rocking? <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, good gravy. So, I didn't think anybody's here. I don't think it's this room either. I think it's a different room. Oh, no, it is this room. Okay, fair enough. We just need to uh, activate. Ah, here we go. Let's strip all the important looking bits out. And that is all we needed to do for that. Don't think that there's anything. Uh-oh. Uh, this is a conundrum. <laughs> Don't get stuck down there. And get gravy. Uh, come on. Jump and walk. Jump and walk. You can do this. Come on. Uh-oh. There we go. <laughs> Good night. Did not mean to get uh, stuck down there. But... Yeah, I need to go find myself some ammo. Ooh. But I am going to help myself to any bottles that are are still full. Because why the heck not, right? Anyways, ooh, looky over here. I have not checked all these out. But I have now. So now they are all empty of usable bottles we will just leave all those empties there and we can head right back to the crimson caravan and tell alice mclafferty we've done the deed for her once again i think we are her star employee right now though mm, yeah i don't know how long we're going to remain that way because yeah i don't like alice mclafferty she's not a nice person we will find out more about that though as we work with Cass, right? All right, Alice, I've done your Welcome dirty back. work. Your uh, bottle press is no longer a problem. Good. I'm sure you were thorough. Here's your payment. For oh, I was help. very thorough. All right. And I think that amazing. is the end of what we can do with her. Now we're going to head over to the strip again we want to do the wang dang atomic uh, tango and we want to do deck collectors so i say we i think they're both pretty much over to the gun runners sure oh over to the gun runners that's a good thing i need to get ammo right yeah, give me ammo. Welcome, sir. Yes, ammo, please. I am come. All right, there we go. I got everything that they had, which unfortunately is not very much. So, it says here at the gun runners. What? No, I can't go. It can't be here at the gun runners. Maybe it's just near the gun runners on the other side of the wall or something. But that doesn't seem right. So let me head into Freeside itself over here. Alright. Surely somewhere in here we'll be able to find these people. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Bang, 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 bang. Who's doing what? Who are you? Oh. Okay. Serious. 
What in the world, dude? A straight razor. You tried to murder me with a straight razor. This guy's running around with a deadly weapon. Nope. What is your problem, little free side thugs? You are not out of here, dude. Can't come running up to me trying to attack me and think you're going to get away scot-free. I don't think so. It's not the way we do business here, people. Straight razors, my left cheek. I swear. <laughs> Looks like I've got somebody in this area. Let me look at our local map. Yeah, somebody right over there. Ah, and somebody over there. Got ya. Got ya, got ya. Would it be you, sir? Hey there. Gat. Grax, hey huh? Can you spare a few caps? No, I cannot. So are you the Grex who owes the Garrets? That all depends on who's asking. You're hangman if you don't start being straight with me. Oh, yeah. I guess the Garrets sent you after me. Look, I've got the caps right here. Just don't hurt me. Oh, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, thanks for the caps. I'll enjoy the zombie afterlife. I didn't think so. I don't think we need to be mean and take all his caps. That'll do. But don't mess with the garrets again. I won't. Thanks for not killing me. Alright. Did he give me all the caps? I didn't pay attention. I certainly hope so. Alright. Let's go find our next little uh, deadbeat who hasn't been paying their tab. Can't believe this day and age not paying your tab. Can't buy things on credit, people. Should be always paying cash. And here we go. Here is our next unlucky little feller. How are you today? Santiago is fabulous. Oh, you look very fabulous, Santiago. Well, you do owe the Garrett's a bunch of caps. Santiago does not owe anyone. Santiago is a free side VIP. Mmm. Francine warned me you are a smooth talker. Indeed. Santiago is a poet among pretenders. If you're here to collect for the Garrets, Santiago is debt free. I'd rather not kill you, but Francine put a bounty on your head. I didn't think she was upset enough to have me killed. Here are the capsule. I do Thank the you. Santiago Act to get out of paying for services every once in a while. I didn't think it could possibly get me killed. Hmm. Well, now, while I'm here, James Garrett is looking for a suave escort. Are you interested in some work? I'm honored they would consider me. I'll start immediately. Okay, goodbye. Come on back if you have any interesting news. Whoa, dude. You are very good with the accents, I've got to say. All right, well, there we go. One for Garrett and two for Francine. We've just, or not Garrett, jeez, I keep doing that. James. Yeah, one for J or, or James and two for Francine. Just one more to go for her, and we'll go get our other two for our other little dude. So let me worm my way out of Freeside. Well, into the next part of Freeside. Looks like we found the strip. You Whoa. Freeside, so here's a little advice, friend. Don't go past the Southgate greeter without talking to it first. Why wouldn't I want to go past the greeter? Those bots are programmed to vaporize anyone who enters the fenced-in area without authorization from the greeter. Well, thanks for the free advice. Who are you? The name's Old Ben. I've been living in Freeside since the day I was born. Well, what's your story? I've done a bit of everything around here. Courier, butcher, crier, escort, gun for hire. Some of which I'm not proud of, but I do my best to help around town when needed. Courier? Well, I used to be a courier before I got shot in the head. Exactly one of the reasons I got out of that job. Too many shifty characters looking to have someone else <laughs> move their hot items. Butcher, how did you get into that? My father ran a butcher shop here in town. But business went downhill when another vendor started selling this strange meat. Mmm, interesting. That sounds odd. You're telling me. Not long after my father's shop went under and he passed away from the loss. People around town started experiencing shakes. No one gets shakes like that unless they're eating human flesh. But no one would believe me. The sick bastard gradually went insane and passed away. 
Wasn't long before someone moved into the guy's place and found half-buried human remains in the crawl space. I didn't bother saying told you so. Wow. And a crier. Well, what was that job? After a while, I made enough money to get a passport into Vegas. Back then, you could get approved for entry for a fraction of what it costs now. Well, I got a job working as a crier outside of the tops, advertising for the local talent performing at the casino. That didn't last long. What happened? Well, being a suave young guy, I chatted up the ladies from time to time, and one of the manager's girls started to take a liking to me. I never touched the woman, but the jealous prick decided it was my time to go. He framed me by saying I'd stolen from the casino. Sure enough, a few grand was missing from the casino vault. I have to assume the bastard stole the funds and figured I was a convenient fall guy. That sucks. Wrong place at the wrong time, if you ask me. Yeah, shit indeed happens. I was stripped of my casino apartment and all of my belongings and booted back into Freeside. From there, I didn't have a lot of career options, as my rep was destroyed. So the escort job sort of fell into my lap. No pun intended. All right. And you were a gun for hire also? When I quit the escort job, I had enough money to buy a pistol belt and some other gear. Bodyguards make a good, honest living. And I had the wits and physical build to handle most thugs. After saving a few tourists from trouble, I got a reputation for being a stand-up guy again. And after a decade, managed to save up enough to retire. Right, and you said escort like an armed guard. Well, I suppose you could look at it that way, but I was packing a whole different kind of heat. No, escort just sounds mm. better than manhole. It certainly does. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yep. I was damn good at my job, too. But after a while, I just felt like a piece of meat and had to quit. I don't blame you. All right. Well, how would you like to work for the Garretts? I'm retired, but life has been a bit dull without some kind of action. What's the job? Ah, oh, you know, he needs a real boyfriend experience for more discerning patrons. Ah, I get you. So you think because of my past escort work, I'd be interested in that kind of thing. You never know. I got out of that work because it just made me feel empty inside. What makes you think I would ever go back to that degradation? You know what? I think you could be a beacon of light in some people's depressing existence. Your work is art. You know what? You're right. I looked at the whole thing from the wrong angle. I suppose I could be a loving muse to some, while simply relieve stress and tension in others. Thanks for that insight. You know, maybe some of them only want to talk. I'd be happy to start at the Wrangler immediately. This should be a nice change of pace from retirement. All right, there we go. Two and a two. Now we just need to find Lady Jane, and she should be uh, sitting down right over here. Well, somebody was not so lucky. Tried to slip by. Lady Jane. Hello. Lovely to meet you. Um, I was hired by the Garrets to track you down. In that case, I suppose you're here to collect. I apologize, but I simply do not have enough caps on me to cover the debt. If someone were to recover my caravan from that cave, I could easily pay in full. But who would bother with such a mess? You know, Lady Jane, I can tell you are lying through your teeth. Damn. I didn't want to hand over all of my caps because I won't have enough to get home to California. Here, take it all. I'll find my way home one way or another. All right, 250 caps. There we go. And no more gambling. Stay out of the casinos, young lady. It's bad for your health. Unless you have a luck of eight. Then you can go play in the casinos. <laughs> All right, let's make our way back. Holy bobs. Oh, no, wait. We got one more stop, don't we, before we can go back. Let me pop back over to those. I have got 388 caps. We need to go do a sex spot and the ghoul cowboy. Where are they at? One is over by there. And one is outside. Let's go do the one outside first. This is not the one I wanted. Dang it. Uh, hold on. And just what are you selling? Yeah, sure. Uh, somehow I don't believe that meat is good. Anyways, let's go over here to the followers of the apocalypse in the old Mormon fort. 
See if we can find ourselves a ghoul cowboy. Howdy. Oh, I have some questions for you. And I may have answers. Well, so who are you? I've been around a while. Currently working for the followers as a gun for hire. But it's getting rather dull. You don't say. Aside from protecting them from the occasional thug looking to intercept supply shipments. There isn't much to do around here. The one researcher I liked who I could chat up about liquor got transferred. And the rest of the docs are pretty uptight about my kind of fun. Well, I bet you've seen a lot over the years. I've been around long enough to observe the patterns of human behavior. Physical and mental anguish are especially exciting to explore. It sounds like you're a little bit of a dom there, Beatrix. Hey, who doesn't enjoy a little pinch and squeal every once in a while? A little slap and giggle, I know what you mean. So are you interested for working for the Garretts? They already have that pig McCaffrey working for them. Do they need another guard? I feel a little bit more than just a guard. Uh, I've escorted my share of idiot tourists around Freeside. Too much trouble for what it pays. I mean, when I say escort, I don't mean escort. I'm all boot knives and leather, friend. And a ghoul besides. What kind of weirdo wants what I've got? You would be surprised what uh, some customers like. Weirdos into bullwhips and necrosis, huh? <sighs> Doesn't sound half bad. What am I thinking? I'm no whore. And I ain't about to hand my ass over to some penny ante hustler like he owns me. No, you'd be an independent with a deep discount on the bees, maybe. They do have a damn good selection of hooch over at the Wrangler. If I get to choose my customers, if I get to be a little rough with them, if my cut is fair, and if I get that discount, that just might work. Tell the Garretts I'll stop by to work out terms. All right, and not a problem. And that is our third one down, fourth one down, third one down. Hey. And while I am here, let me go up here while I'm thinking about it, run upstairs and get the snow globe for the old Mormon fort. It should be, yes, right there. We've got a limited edition landmark. And I thought that was a magazine, but it is not. I think we are, yeah, good to get out of here. There's nothing in here that we need. We will come back and deal with the followers of the apocalypse at another time. I didn't want to get too deep into their stuff. Just wanted to come and pick up old Beatrix. She's um, she's quite the trip. I do like Beatrix. And next, we need to head out to somewhere. We need to go get ourselves a robot, do we not? Will it tell me where that robot's at? Without having to go back to the Garrett's first. I don't know. You know what? They can We've kill their own dang rat. <laughs> I'm not in the mood to kill it for them today. And there went Lady Jane. Off back to California. Hopefully she makes it there in one piece. And here we go. Atomic Wrangler. Let's Ladies go turn these in real quick. I can worry about that robot here in a few minutes. All right, ma'am. I did your well. No, I do not want to stand on the furniture. Welcome back. What can I get you? Yes, I have got the debts I collected. I don't care how you handled those lumps of human refuse, but you got the job done. We need you to hunt down another person. That son of a bitch McCaffrey stole a ton of caps and ran off to Vegas. I guess the fact that we farmed out his usual work to you pissed him off. No one steals from the Garrett twins. If you can kill that bastard and bring back as much as you can, you'll be paid very well. I suppose I can do that. How am I supposed to get onto the strip? See the king. I'm sure he could work something out to get you in. You'll need to prove your worth his time, but it'll be well worth it. Okay, well, if I see McCafferty on the strip, I'll be sure to take care of him. Good. Just stop on back when he's dead and you'll be rewarded handsomely. Bring his hat as proof of the kill. Not a problem. All right. Talk to you later.
Yes, ma'am. And yeah. you. I have things look, for you. Give me my money. Welcome back. What can I get you? Yes, I've... Any idea where I should look for a sex spot? The best place to start would be with Ralph. At Mick and Ralph's over on the east end of Freeside. Other than that, your guess is as good as mine. Okie dokie. And I actually found you an escort who's a ghoul and a cowboy. Imagine that. What's his name and when's he start? Well, her name is Beatrix and she can start immediately. A she, huh? Well, I guess the customer who made that request can't get everything he wants. Hell, who knows? He might not even notice the difference. You never know. All right, and you wanted a smooth talker for an escort, and I found one of them, too. Who would that be? Well, let me see. I think old Ben has the experience and skill that you need. I've heard some stories of that old guy. I'm amazed he's still alive with how much he's been through. If the stories are true, he'll be a valuable commodity here at the Wrangler. I appreciate the find. All right, and I guess... That is it. I, I don't know. I like old Ben better than I like Santiago. So I always try to give old Ben the job. You know, he I think he needs some out of the rain things. And I, I don't think he'll, uh, I don't think he'll, uh, he'll come to any harm working there. Definitely has had a long, tough life. But now he can kind of choose who and, and what he wants to do. And I think that's a good thing. So, anyways, Mick and Ralph's are over this way somewhere. Alrighty, back over here at Mick and Ralph's. Ralph. Playing debt collector for the Garrets, huh? Eh, well, you know, things happen. You wouldn't happen to know where I could find a sex robot, though. <laughs> are you some kind of machine fetishist or something? The Garrets are looking to satisfy certain customers. <laughs> Well, the only place I know of locally would be Cerulean Robotics. That place has been overrun by vermin. For I can years. deal with vermin. If you want to check the place out, you can find it on the west side of Freeside. The entrance is on the back side of the building. Just watch out for thugs. The rats aren't the only vermin you need to worry about. Not a problem. Thanks. I'll check it out. Anything else I can help you with? No, I think I'm good. Thanks. Thanks for stopping in. Yeah, anytime, anytime. All right, Sue. Now we need to head where? Up over. Is that that's free side there? And I think it's actually that one that I need, right? So we follow the uh, the other one there. Let's go find ourselves a a fista, right? So this is our building here. We just need to figure out where the door is. Aha, there it is. Finally, it took me a hot minute to find this joint. Whoa. So this should just be rats, if I remember correctly. And can we, do I have any, I don't have any hollow point. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. All right, let's go see if we can find what we're looking for. For yes, little ratty boys need to go away. These rats creep me out. They are so weird looking. All right, there's what we need right there. But I mean, we might as well get what we're whatever we can while we're here, right? Is that are you? There you go. You didn't even know I was there. Is my seat? sneak that good I hope so we've been working on it long enough dang it what's out here dirty little rats that's what's over here can we get you oh I didn't think I could get him I figured that was gonna be the um I was gonna hit the table on that one any more ammo on you yeah so I will take all your energy cells don't know why. Ooh. Goodbye. <laughs> A little bum shot. A little tiny bum shot. We can't get through that door. So what's over here? And this is my front door in. Feels like this is pretty much all there is to this place. Yeah, just one big old ring. Alright, let's see if we can find our 
our robot in question here. Here we go. That one was pretty easy, thank goodness. And uh, let me see here. Let's just uh, run a diagnostic. Upload programming routines. Program a sex bot routine. And back. And we're done. Let's get him out of there. Let's put our weapon away. Be nice to the little Fisto man. Integrated security technotronic officer active and reporting for duty. Ah, uh, that's a little bit too long, dude. Let's shorten it to just Fisto. Yes, ma'am. Fisto reporting for duty. Please assume the position. Ah, uh, no, that's okay. No, no, wait. No, 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 no. I am programmed for your pleasure. Please. Uh... My pleasure is for you to work at the Atomic Wrangler. Fisto will report to the Atomic Wrangler for further orders. All right, report to the Atomic Wrangler. Speak to James Garrett. He's your new owner. Yes, ma'am. All right, thank you very much. All right, Fisto is going to head back over, and we will meet him there. I'm sure uh, James is just going to be absolutely delighted in his new acquisition. I certainly hope he pays me well for the pleasure. All right, James. Whoop, I am back. Welcome back. What can I get you? Ah, uh, yep. I found the sex spot you're looking for. You did? Ha, damn. I've been looking for one of those for years. For my customers. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not into that kind of shit. Right. The thing is, Fist is a heavy-duty piece of equipment built to last. Hey, I'm amazed you even found the thing in the first place. Here is double for your trouble. Thank you very much. To be satisfied now. I would hope so. And Fisto is already programmed to respond to your command. It, it will? My God, imagine the mm -hmm. possibilities. It didn't happen to come with an owner's manual, did it? Ah, forget it. Trial and error should do it. it yeah, it, it should. Later. Uh-huh. All right, you enjoy that. And there we go. The Wang Dang Atomic Tango is done. And all we got to do is make our way up to Freeside, or not Freeside, but to the Strip. And deal with McCafferty after, you know, he kind of got a little bummed out, stole some stuff, and has caused a nuisance for himself here at the Atomic Wrangler. But I think we are going to deal with that in the next episode. I got some gambling to do, so y'all have a great day. Thank y'all so very much for joining me. I've been Valkyrie. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.